Hello, Internet. Uh, so, bad news, and then possibly good news. Bad news is that I found out when I got paid today that I am completely out of time off. Uh, I uh, found out the hard way because my paycheck is half what it normally would be. Uh, I am completely out of sick time, personal time, and vacation time. So if I don't go to work, I don't get paid. Uh, I still got about four months of this left to go. Seven sessions of chemo. And then, and then God knows what. Uh, surgery, maybe, I don't know. Whatever the future brings. Um, so this is a problem. This is a major problem for me. Uh, not having the ability to call out whenever I need. Uh, I mean, I can do that. According to the FMLA paperwork I filled out, I can't be fired for calling out excessively. But I can't support myself if I don't work. Uh, I was given the option to take disability to the tune of $170 a week, which if you do the math, no one can live on that. I... That's, that, barely, <coughs> that barely covers my rent. Uh, I've got a ton of other bills to, to deal with. So yeah, this is, this is a major issue. Um, possibly good news though, I may qualify for uh, what's called a critical care benefits package. And if I qualify, which uh, I called them and they're sending me the paperwork uh, and they, they did tell me that invasive cancer is covered and my cancer is pretty invasive because uh, it's stage four, it's spread to my liver. Um, if I qualify, I would get a lump sum of $10,000. Uh, that would support me for at least uh, six months. Uh, at least. Um, so I, I, I really... <laughs> Fingers crossed, I really hope that, um, that, that I'm qualified for that. Um, and then I can, you know, I can take time off, and it doesn't matter, because I'll have the money to support me. Um, but I'll work when I, you know, when I can, uh, as I can. <coughs> it just, it sucks, because this is, this is, it's bullshit. I don't understand why the system is built like this, why it is that you have to, like, jump through all these red tape hoops to, to get the help you need. And I know I've complained about it a lot. God, I just, I don't understand why that isn't just taken care of. I don't, I don't get it. I mean... I said I wouldn't get political, but I can't help saying this. We can spend hundreds of billions, even trillions on a war, but we can't. We can't spend that much. We can't spend that much on, uh, on, um, healthcare in this country. That's so fucking stupid. I don't get it. Our priorities are so screwed up. We will defend the country from foreign threats until uh, we gouge every taxpayer. But God forbid we protect the people at home from something like cancer or malnutrition. I said it in my in my video about you know what I believe about how you know we could point a finger at God and say you can stop it all, but. So can we. We have the power. We have the means. We can stop it all. We could stop all war if we just decided to. We could stop all uh, poverty if we just decided to. The sick could be healed. The hungry could be fed. The homeless could be homed. I don't get it. I don't understand why we don't do it. It's really dumb. And here I am, you know, seeing this for the first time. I'm 38, and I'm and I'm finally getting to 
get a real taste of what it means to be impoverished, not homeless impoverished, not starving impoverished, but definitely to the point where I can't take time off. I can't. Because if I'm not getting paid, then, I, then I'm not paying bills. And it, it's so difficult now. As sick as I feel, I'm going to have to drag myself to work. I have to. I don't have a choice. I don't know. I'm really worried. I might push myself into something. I don't know. I push myself too hard, but what choice do I have? God, this is stupid. I don't get it. Anyway. Fingers crossed on that money. Because, God, I need that. I, God, I need that so much. <coughs> but we'll see. Uh, paperwork, hopefully, we'll get here soon. Maybe next, sometime next week. And then I'll, I'll fill it out. And then my doctor has to fill it out. And then, um, and then I'll, I'll wait to hear back from them. But, uh, yeah. I'll keep you updated on that. In the meantime... I'll do what I can to keep an upbeat, uh, upbeat attitude about it, positive attitude. As bad as I feel, I know it's going to get better. It's just going to take time. So there's that. All right. Later.